Hey y'all, Thomas Clicker back at you. Uh, tonight I'm going to do some stromboli's and some potato chips. Yeah, I'm going to make the potato chips by hand. They ain't going to be nice store bought stuff. Uh, I got to make me some marinara for my stromboli's. I got some meat browning up over here. Got me a couple of pounds of Italian sausage. Got me a pound of ground beef in there. A little garlic powder, a little onion powder, some cracked black pepper. That's all it is. Just browning that up, getting that hot. <coughs> Let's make some marinara sauce, y'all. Got my pan over here getting hot. Add me a little bit of olive oil. Yeah, it's probably a tablespoon or so. Yeah, maybe a little more. It don't matter. I got me two big old shallots today. Two great big old shallots. I chopped them up real fine. You can see that. They're real fine. Throw them in there. I might need to turn it down a little bit. Sweat them shallots down for a little bit. Now, you could use onion here, but I really wouldn't recommend it. Spend the money and get you a shallot. I'm going to fire a little hotter than I wanted. So I'll hold it up over here. Got a damn burner cool down. Just going to sweat them down a little bit. I really don't want to give them any color. I just want to sweat them down. We'll add a little bit of salt to them. That's that sea salt, remember? That'll release a little liquid out of them. That'll help them sweat down. Sweat some shallots, y'all. Sweat some shallots. We'll be back in a minute. Okay. I got mine. You ready? Yep. I got my shallots sweated down here now. They got a little bit of color. It don't matter. I got like, I don't know, four or five cloves of garlic here. I'm going to junk in there. Sweat that garlic down a little bit. That's fresh garlic that I chopped today. I'm going to let it all. add a little pepper to this. Remember y'all, crack your own damn pepper. Don't buy none of that store bought ground up stuff. I know I sound like a broken record, but you wouldn't believe the difference in the flavor. Stir this meat up a little bit. <coughs> it's about ready. I got two pounds of Italian sausage in here. I got a pound of ground beef in here. I figured that's going to be about right. Put the sausage in. Cook it until it's about halfway done. Then throw the hamburger in there. Finish cooking it. So I should take a little more time in the hamburger to cook. Try to chop this up as fine as you can or as fine as you want. We're making shrimp bowls here, y'all, not meatballs. Okay. Go. Okay, got my shallots, my garlic, my garlic and the shallots there are all sauteed down. I'm going to add a little bit of white wine to them. I've been drinking, I can't talk. Put some white wine in there. Uh, it's probably a third of a cup, maybe. Turn the fire up just a little bit. Reduce that down. <coughs> like my tongs, don't they cool? Alright, we're going to 
going to let that reduce down a little bit. And then we'll be back in a minute. Okay, got my wine in there. It's reduced almost halfway. You can look at it there. It's just about halfway. Get it up there in the light. I don't know. You got shallots and garlic and cracked black pepper in there. A little bit of white wine. I'm going to add some crushed tomatoes to that. It's a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. I'll stir that up and see if I need to add more. Which I know I do because I've already got the other can open. Before I put the other can in, I'm going to put some basil in there. Put however much you want in. I don't use amounts. I've been cooking long enough to know. I just dump it in there. I'm planning on making a mess here. I'm going to make a lot of strong boys tonight. I'm going to use another can. Now I don't know if you know if you know it or not, but if you're using canned tomato products. If you're not using San Marzano, which comes from Italy, you need to use Hunt's. Hunt's has the best flavor of any canned tomato product you can get. That's just because of the way they do their processing. If you don't believe me, then Google it, damn it. I ain't here to lie to you. We'll put a little more basil in there. Strong bowl as hell is Italian. Put some basil in there. A little cracked pepper. We're gonna bring that up to heat and we're gonna simmer that for probably 20 minutes. And then you'll have a marinara sauce. You can pretty much do whatever the hell you want to do with this. Stromboli, spaghetti, lasagna, if you got enough of it. It's a hell of a sauce for dipping toasted raviolis in. So, we're going to let this get up to heat there and simmer down and we'll be back in a few. Go. Okay, y'all. Got my sauce done here for strombolis. It's about ready. Looks pretty good to me. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. I'm going to make some potato chips. I'm going to get these sandwiches together. We're going to shove them in the oven. We'll go from there. I sliced me some potatoes today. Thin potato chips. They're thin. DC thin. Yeah, I left the peeling on these. The peeling is good. It's got fiber in there. Not only that, it's got flavor. See, thin. Got me a little deep fryer here. It's set about 375, 400. I'm going to just chuck a bunch of these in here. Come over here. Just throw some potatoes in there. Take it up a little bit. It's going to take a couple of minutes to cook. I don't want to put no more of that in there. You gotta watch oil when you're cooking it like this, y'all. This stuff will boil over and it will cause a fire, so you gotta be careful when you're dealing with oil. Let that cook for a while. We'll get these straws together now. Okay. Go. Okay, I'll put a little garlic powder on these buns here. These are little hoggy buns, whatever the hell. A little garlic powder in there. I'm going to shove that in the oven. Oh, I got this at about 450. Just cook that for a minute or two. Look at here my potato chips, y'all. They're cooking up nicely. They'll be crisp when I get done with them. 
damn near crisp now. Homemade potato chips, y'all. We'll be back in a minute. Alright y'all, these chips are done. Get some of this grease off of them here. We'll dump them over here in this pan. Got me a paper towel to catch some of this grease. Homemade potato chips, y'all. What the hell? Who would have thought? You gotta season these right now. Let's put some salt on there. Salt can't hurt nothing. Hell. I'm about ready to fix my strombolas here to get them together. Potatoes. You wanna know how I got them so thin? I got, got them so thin with one of these old timey deals. If I had a mandolin, it would have worked better, but I don't have a mandolin. I got one of these old timey deals. Good enough for my grandma, it's good enough for me. Alright. Good, good. Alright, got some toasted buns here. Let's put these things together, y'all. Get that out of my way. Set that down there. Give me a spoon here. Jesus Christ, I gotta find a spoon. Hold on a minute, I gotta find a spoon. <laughs> Alright, got a spoon here. Hell, I had a spoon in the pan. I don't need that damn thing. Put some sauce on here. You can't see it. Here, let me move this up here. Yeah, I'm going to sauce both sides. What the hell? Y'all sauce one side or both, whatever you want. I'm going to sauce both of mine tonight. Put some meat on there. Now you may wonder, how in the hell am I going to get these together? You can serve them open face, you don't have to put them together. But let's hope this cheese holds it all together and we don't have to worry about it. Some meat on there. I got some red onions that I diced up earlier. Put some red onions on there. Yeah, you really need the red onions. Uh, they look better and they're sweeter than the yellow. Trust me. You need the red ones. A few more on there. Hell, just make a mess. Throw it on a damn pan. It's on a pan. It ain't like it's a damn kitchen counter or nothing. Put some green pepper on there. Notice how I diced these all up for y'all? It's not a real fine dice, but it's, it's a pretty small dice. Keep chunking some stuff on there. Damn stuff looks good to me. Oh, right, let's find the cheese. We got some mozzarella cheese here. It's all shredded up. I don't have to fool with that. Let's put some cheese on it. Once that cheese melts, it's going to hold all that stuff together. The stuff that don't hold together, just get you a fork and eat off the damn pan. Ain't nothing but yummies down there, y'all. Nothing but yummies.
as much cheese as you want. It's a strong boldy, it should have cheese. I like my strombolis like I what like a like I, I like my strombolis like I like old men and women. God damn, I can't talk. I like my strombolis like I like one women. Spicy. We got crushed red peppers here. Put on what you want. That's like what I call a mild. I would do a heavy, but I'm not going to do it. I'm gonna be nice tonight. Strong bowlers, y'all. Shove them in the oven. Let's put some more potatoes down. God damn, I couldn't fucking talk, Abby. Okay, y'all. I got my potatoes that I sliced there earlier. I got them sitting in water. Put your potatoes in water, it keeps them from getting brown on you. Just take them out of the water and just run them through a colander and just shake them up get the water off of them. You can dry these with a towel if you want to, but I ain't going that far. Drop them in your fryer. Let's cook some potato chips, y'all. Whoa, shit! Now you know why you can't go too far. See, you'll learn. Lesson learned, y'all. Watch and learn. Watch and fucking learn. We can cut that out later. But hey, that's a that's a good thing to know, though. Boy, you gotta be careful with deep fryers. You have to be careful. They will mess up your kitchen, mess up your house, mess up your life. You gotta be careful. Just don't be stupid like Keith was. But on the bright side, we ain't got no flames, so we're all good to go. God damn it, get in there. I may run out of towels before it's over with, but. See, y'all learn how to cook and learn not what to do. So, it's a win-win all around. We don't worry about the mess. We'll clean it up later. Don't overfill your fryer. Not like something you want to do. I got the straws in the oven. The oven's set about 450 or so. So as the cheese melts are done. Uh, providing I don't burn the damn house down first. Alright, we'll be back in a minute. We're still here. Alright, let's see if we can do this again without burning the house down, y'all. Be careful when you're using oil. That's the main thing. Be careful. Live and learn. Y'all learn tonight. Alright, she's coming up there. Bring that up out of the oil. Bring it back up. Set her down there, potatoes. You gotta be real careful with oil, y'all. I mean, really I really do. It, it can really mess up your day. And your kitchen. It can mess up your whole damn house. Uh, we got some more down here in the oven cooking. <clears throat> no very pretty. Yeah, I could put more cheese on it, but I don't need to. When you make them, you put more damn cheese on them. That'd be just fine.
This is what we ended up with, y'all. Homemade potato chips. Got us a Stromboli here. Homemade. Yeah, it could use more cheese, but what the hell. Do it the way you want it. Just show you, man. You, you can do anything in the kitchen. Just get in there and play with the damn food. Make something. Don't burn the house down. But, you know, accidents happen. Live and learn. Uh, just do something. Get in the kitchen, y'all. Play with the food. Get your utensil and do something with it. Everything ain't perfect. With that, I'm going to let y'all go for the night. Uh, I hope you had fun watching me make a mess in my kitchen. See you next time.